in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. Personally, I feel that this hybrid should have come out a little bit sooner. Do a drop the ball on dropping this fragrance right now, at least for me who lives in the New York tri-state area, which we're having an influx of confusing weather that the weatherman himself is just throwing darts at a fucking board guessing and getting paid seven figures. Who else gets paid for being wrong 100% of the time? Well, other than me. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put y'all bitches onto this hybrid because one of the fragrances in this hybrid happens to be my favorite from the Dua line. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. One of the fragrances in this hybrid, as previously mentioned, is, if not my favorite, at least in my top three favorite duo creations. It's the clone of Zerzhov Neo. Now, I haven't been able to purchase Zerzhov Neo because it hasn't been on the black secondary, whatever eBay market for a cheap price at all since I've been looking for it at least three years. So I literally have almost used all of my Dua Matrix one, but I do have a backup bottle. This combination is a mix of two Zerzhovs, Zerzhov Neo and Zerzhov Udin, which I've never smelled. Hey dickhead, it's not Udin, it's Zerzhov Kobe, asshole. I haven't smelled that one either. The only one I smelled is Neo, but this combination is nasty. The fragrance is none other than Zeus Matrix. Zeus Matrix is a fucking problem. Let's start with that. Citrusy, sweet, vanillic, beautiful combination. This has gotta be within the top two best hybrids they came up with, because this one for me hits all the little points. One little problem by the power of Grayskull. By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> that I have an issue with, that I also have an issue with in Neo is the presence of the asshole skeleton, uh, Neroli. Neroli is just fuck, but here it works. Not super overpowering, but it is fucking present. Here you just get a bright natural citrus and that lingering fucking Neroli just happens to creep up and be like, hi bitch, I'm here, shut the fuck up, nobody wants to talk to you. Just picture you sitting outside overlooking the Mediterranean, just chilling, all refining your white linens, drinking a boozy cocktail with no ice, just sipping on it ever so sophisticatedly while your dime ass model side bitch is next to you who doesn't speak a lick of English, which is perfect because you usually want them mute and you're about to jump on a chartered 700 foot yacht with this beautiful model that towers over you by like eight inches and you don't give a fuck because your wallet is stacked that's how this fragrance makes me feel obviously it's delusional but what i'm not tripping about is that this fragrance is beautifully bright and just overall awesome this should have came out a lot sooner this motherfucker's probably just thinking of mixes and just dropping them left and right off the cuff because this would have been the first one I fucking dropped, in my personal opinion. This is very, very good. If you live in hot weather and you're a Dua fan, I suggest you try this out, maybe get a sample, and see how this shit is working on your skin. If you're not a Dua fan and you don't give three flying fucks about clones, then you shouldn't be watching this video. You've gone too far. Please go back and watch something else. See, right now the citrus has calmed down a little bit, but citrus is very prominent. The booziness is definitely there, along with muskiness, a little bit of woodiness. This is just lovely. I love the Matrix from Dua. Again, it's one of my favorites. I've never smelled Udin. It's Zerzhov Kobe, asshole. I really, really fucking enjoy this fragrance. This is a dope hybrid for me. It works for me. It may not work for you, and that's cool. Don't get it. Please don't get it. Don't work for you and you just don't trust my opinion, then don't fucking do it. It works. It just works late. Fuck. Thank you, Dua, for sending me this shit. I really appreciate it. You assholes sent it a little late, but fuck it. You know, better late than never, I guess. I hope it goes up to like 70, 80 degrees so I can wear this shit more often because even wifey liked it and she hates everything as we know. Is this a ball spray? Absolutely, it's a full ball spray for sure. Excuse me while I pull up my expensive white t-shirt that isn't wrinkled as of yet and spray my entire shaft. Please remember to spray these dual ones from a good distance because they could fuck up a t-shirt. Just saying. Maybe you can try to layer them yourselves and save a buck. 
I don't know if that shit works. I won't do it because I don't I don't know neither of them. And I'm too fucking lazy. That's just me. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. If you want to check this shit out, I'll leave the link in the description. If not, go to the next video because I'm going to keep dropping dope shit every day, all day. That's how I do. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. It's the biggest in the fucking game who's smelling like he got money, but he broke as fuck. Kind of. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger than raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.